Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing 5,000 Leagues from Home. Once again, my name is Christopher J. Tuton. I made this game in HTML and JavaScript um, kind of in the late half of 2023. I was going through a phase where I was trying to teach myself once again how to use JavaScript as good as I used to know how to use it back when I was like 16 and 17. Um, and since it's been two decades since then, I thought that, you know, it would be good to give myself a refresher. And uh, this is one of my favorite games that I made during that development period. And we're going to play it right now. So without further ado, let's scroll up and we're going to hit run game. All right, 5,000 leagues from home. You are captain of the SS Slug Dog and must get your ship through dangerous waters and safely back home, which is 5,000 leagues away from where you are now. Good luck. Let's start our journey. Um, obviously, I was really inspired by uh, the Oregon Trail. That was my biggest inspiration for this. But then also um, I had read a bunch of, well, actually, I read all the Horatio Hornblower books last year um, in 2023. And so I really wanted to do something set at sea. Uh, so as we were traveling, we discovered a pile of wreckage and searched for survivors, and we got 50 rations from that. So I'm um, not sure if that means that there were no survivors, so we took their rations, or perhaps the survivors became the rations. It's hard to say. But uh, so we traveled 80 leagues. Our health is good. Our hope is lacking. We've got plenty of food, so let's keep on going. As we travel, um, our rations tick down by 10 every league or every 10 leagues, and our ship health also ticks down as we travel just from use. Um, discover another pile of wreckage and find more rations. That's it's random events that happen while you travel. Uh, sometimes they are the same as it was previously, but usually they're different. And now we've arrived at Parrot's Tooth Lagoon or Parrot's Tongue Lagoon. Sorry, this is our first uh, little island stop. So let's search the island. Someone approaches you and thanks you for helping them recover a long lost memory, but you don't know who they are. Interesting. We'll talk to some strangers. No one, no one wants to talk to us here. Okay. Um, we don't have any money, so we can't repair the ship and we can't restock our rations either, but we have plenty, so it's fine. Um, we don't have any loot. Loot is what we use to uh, buy things at, uh, towns, you can find them with search boats. Sometimes you discover them in the wreckage. Uh, but right now, we're just getting incredibly lucky with rations, which I am not going to argue with. And in fact, I'll send out some search boats. And they don't come back. I'll send out some more. And we got some scurvy and took 14 damage. Okay, well, let's leave them. This doesn't seem like a good place to stay. Um, I was also inspired a little bit by FTL and a little bit by uh, the Consuming Shadow when making this kind of a, a little bit of a roguelike element with plot threads that kind of pick up as you play the game. Now we're at a uh, free folk point. Let's talk to strangers here. Oh, we were set upon by bandits, but luckily we didn't have any money for them to steal. So that's good. And, um, and we're chased away by natives, bandits and natives, terrible location. We're not doing great now. This is actually, uh, not good. So we're going to deploy some search boats. <sighs> And then we got to start making some decisions so we can use our food like we can uh, patch up our ship and let's do that now. And um, so it went up by 38, but that means our crew went through 10 rations because once they do the work, they oh no, and a storm's coming. All right. We got to find some food, enough rations to make it through tomorrow. 21. All right. Let's try to get out of the storm. So we have four days left, three days left, two days left. All right. Send some more boats out. Oh, no. Our, our ship is about to die. 40 rations, patch up ship. 10 more, 8 damage. Some loot. 7 damage. Never return. 9 damage, we gotta leave. Our ship health is at 8. This is awful. This is awful. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I make games so hard? Cope, desperate for help. Party remember returns with a few vittles. Crew rations, 24. Okay. Um, so we'll use that 24 to patch up the ship. Oh, wait. storm 12 damage. I think if I hit resume journey, we're going to die. Oh, oh, we're so close. We are so close to death. All right. Deploy more boats. Five damage. 25. Okay. 
We just need to make it to a town. We have a little bit of money. We just need to make it to a town and hope we get lucky. All right. Uh, a fog shrouded lighthouse. Perfect. Talk to strangers. Win money. Yes, this is what we want. All right. First, we're going to repair the ship and then we're going to restock the rations and we're going to repair the ship again. Are we out of money. Okay. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Um, and that was from talking, right? Yeah. So then we'll search. Um, it's too foggy to see much of anything right now, but you do spot some uncomfortably large shapes moving in the distance. Oh, well, if I didn't just win a bunch of money, that might make me nervous, but now I feel a lot better about things. Um, and I do want to say here, uh, before I click return is that, uh, there are probably 10 to 12 different, um, plots that are going on throughout the course of this game. And throughout any given playthrough, you're only going to see maybe five or six of them. And of those five or six, you'll probably only be able to get to the end of two or three. And that is, uh, because of kind of like the random nature of what happens on each island and how each island is built on the back end of the, uh, HTML code or the JavaScript code, I guess. Um, but I do very much like all of the little stories that are told at this game. Oh no, a much bigger boat with a better looking crew passes by and made jokes at our expense. Hope drops by another three points. A massive wave descends upon you and you're, oh, this is a terrible part of the movie. Um, thank God my ship health is so strong. We are just burning through those rations, though. We need to get really lucky on rations. 19, taking damage, never coming back, never coming back. 43 loot locked overboard. Come on, guys. Ugh. I've got the worst crew this round. So as our hope, um, every time uh, something happens, obviously, it changes our hope. And this isn't good. Um, OK, so we're at totally safe sandbar. We can take a break. So every time uh, any action in the game happens, like if I send out search boats and they don't come back, your hope drops a little bit. If you send out search boats and they do come back and they come back with food, your hope goes up because obviously something good happened. And then there are also, in addition to the island events, there are specific island, island events that can happen if you have a very, very high or a very, very low hope, and some that can only happen if you kind of have like a medium hope. So everything, every like kind of decision that you make and everything that happens to you affects your hope in some capacity. And stuff like this, like being set upon by bandits when you're not paying attention and losing loot, not great for your hope. Um, discovering $114 hidden somewhere disgusting is actually pretty okay for your hope, even though it's somewhere gross because, you know, money is important. All right, so we got 96 more rations. That was all the money we had. <sighs> Only 800 leagues. God. Uh, 20 loot. I'm not going for Jesus. The, the, this boat is called the SS Bad Luck. Um, so yeah, uh, five, that obviously like we travel 10 leagues at a time. Once you get to 5,000 leagues, if you can make it that far, you do win the game and it is possible. I have done it multiple times. I don't believe I'll be doing it on this run. Uh, just going by the way things are happening so far, but you never know. Um, one time I, I mean, three ration six, I mean, it could be right here. We have lots of health, so we can tank some of these attacks. All right, loot, enough rations for tomorrow. Loot, rations 34. Okay, let's get out of here. $80 in loot. If we can make it to a town, we can buy rations. There we go. Restock rations. Don't lie to me. There we go. Uh, lose $6 loot. Too foggy. More large shapes. Not sure how many times the large shapes happen before the uh, more concerning event occurs. God, we're going to run out again. Yeah, this is uh, it's a little bit of a starvation simulator. Um, it's been called by uh, some playtesters. And I've also heard it called incredibly stressful, um, which I agree with. Uh, the ship is struck with a bout of intense depression after multiple foggy nights. See, that's not good for a, uh, a low hope score and massive weight. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh no. Oh, I didn't repair the ship. Oh, well, there you go. That's uh, that's kind of how it works. You just, you never really know what's going to happen. So, uh, game over. We made it 1,130 leagues before succumbing to the sea. There were 3,870 leagues left. Um, that's all the way to 5,000, obviously. On the way to our death, we visited five islands and ended our life with $99 in loot. After sifting through the salvage, our next of kin are informed we died due to unrepairable damage to the ship. And that will change. Uh, that dialogue changes depending on how you die, obviously. So, yeah, um, not a full playthrough, but a little introduction to 5,000 Leagues from Home. I, uh, I really love this game. Out of all of the games that I made in uh, JavaScript and HTML in 2003 or 2023, which was a total of five games, 5,000 Leagues from Home is uh, my favorite. And out of all of them, this is one that I would like to kind of revisit at some point in the future, maybe in three dimensions, at least in two dimensions. Like doing this as a proper like Oregon Trail, Amazon Trail style game where you can actually like see the map and see the little boat floating in the water and having the the random events be visible, I think would be uh, really cool. But also very labor intensive. So we'll see. If that's something you want to see, uh, leave a comment down below. And please go to filthyandfree.itch.io, play this game. If you like it, consider uh, supporting me on Patreon, consider supporting me on Ko-fi, consider supporting the game via on itch, or just, you know, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing the video around with your friends. Anything and everything you can do really does mean the world to me, and it helps me be able to do stuff like this more often. So uh, if you like it, please consider... Um, you know, being a part. So yeah, that's it. I hope everybody has a great day and we will see you later. Have fun playing.